before the video starts, I'm going to ask you to subscribe because self-promotion go brr. All of the bigger bots on Discord have per server prefixes where you can change the prefix for that specific server. For example, let's say you have two bots with the same exact prefix, you're able to change one of their prefixes so they don't collide. And that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you in today's video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So for this video, we're going to be using AIO SQLite. If you don't know what that is, it's a database that basically we're going to be using. And if you want to know how to learn it, then you could check out the video up above right now on screen. It'll go over the basics and how you can get started with it. So I expect you to have that ready. If you haven't, once again, just watch the video and come back to this one. We're going to start off by creating a command, which will actually set our prefix but before we do that we're gonna have to create something in our client event so we're gonna do async with AIO client I guess this AIO HTTP and not client session but just connect and this is supposed to be AIO SQLite I can't spell and then as DB now inside of that we're gonna have async with db cursor as cursor now hi um post production glow here uh on screen right now you should see what the async with aio uh, skill like dot connect as db is actually supposed to look like inside of the parentheses you should be putting in your file name in quotation marks i forget this in the video i do correct it later on but that's also like really briefly so I suggest you just fix it now, and whenever I refer to it, make sure you refer to that. Thanks. Inside here, we're gonna do await cursor dot execute and create table if not exists, and this table is gonna be called prefixes. Now, inside of here, we're gonna pass in an ID as an integer, which will actually be the guild ID. We can actually change this here to prefix and then that can be text and then we're gonna have next to it guild which will be ID and add a comma in between and separate those both. Also if you're wondering how I get these like suggestions when I'm typing if I do at client dot it'll automatically know what to do. Well that's thanks to a little extension called tab nine. Tab 9 is really useful and many people have been asking me this so I'll just tell you there will be a link down below to download it or you can go to tab9.in slash glowstick and you can get a free month of premium there, no credit card required. Anyways back to the coding here, what we want to do is do at client.command and async def set prefix. Inside here we're going to pass in ctx and the prefix we want to do. Like so, set this to none, and then we can do a quick bit of if prefix is none, then just return. Okay, and now that we have that, we can get, we can just copy this, because we're going to need this code again, like so, and I forgot something here, right here, you're going to have to add oadb.commit like so and this will just update the database with everything oh and I forgot one more thing here pass in inside here you're gonna have to create a DB folder so I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'll just create you so right here click add file and this is gonna be called prefixes dot DB like so don't write anything in here and then inside of here just pass in prefixes dot DB I'm kind of all over the place right now, sorry about that. But inside here, we can do the same thing, prefixes.db. Now, what we can do is await cursor.execute, and this is going to do select prefix from prefixes where guild equals question mark, and then comma right here. Pass in ctx so give that, that id like so 
then we can have data equals await cursor dot fetch all at one right so if data is none then we could do something actually just do if data and then we can have something else afterwards so like that and then do if data equals equals if it's actually that's not needed we can skip that and just you know shorten our code by a lot because i'm sure you don't want to write insane amounts of code that's just really boring do await cursor dot execute and this will just update the prefixes so update prefixes set prefix and over here this should equal to that add a comma and inside here create parentheses like so and then we want to pass in prefix comma and then ctx.go.id and add a comma at the end and here and sorry where guild equals question mark something like this would do perfectly fine and then we can just set a confirmation message so do await ctx.send updated prefix to and then just pass in f string list pass in prefix like so and that's just the updating part but let's say they don't have any data in it there isn't a current prefix inside well that's fine because we could just do else and inside of here what we would do is we would create a whole entire new line so we could do await cursor.execute and do insert or i forgot the quotations insert into prefixes and then whatever you want to insert so we're going to be inserting prefix of course and then the guild we're going to have we're only going to have two attributes in here and then you can have values question mark comma question mark and then over here we're going to actually be updating all of the values so we're going to end that off go into and then over here we're going to put in all of our values that we'd like to put in so our first value is going to be like the default prefix my default prefix here is going to be d exclamation mark. So we're pass that in and then we can do comma and then do ctx.go.id and this is just needed so it can check if it's the correct guild because if it can't check what guild it is then it will not work after we do that then we can actually just run this again literally it's just this entire code and then just indent that and that should do it it will just rerun the entire code but let's say it still doesn't have data just return it because then there's probably an error and yeah now last thing we want to do is unint it out of this so you're in the db as db and you can just do await db.commit and yeah that's just a set prefix on that's the big main girth of everything here now we're gonna make another event which will be for when a bot joins a server because when we join it we want the database to automatically update with the correct information we only have this because let's say the bot joins while the bot is offline and then it won't be able to actually update the database because it's offline and won't be able to run the event. So in that case, this will just run whenever somebody wants to set up the prefix. It's kind of like a fail safe that I engineered myself at 12 a.m. So now we can do at client.event again and do async dev on guild join inside here we can pass in guild open that up and this one should be pretty easy just copy this as you do and then we just want to copy this as you do and then back out of everything and just do no nope, not that await db dot commit like so and that is it
and instead of ctx dot guild id we're just gonna have guild dot id just like that and then we can copy this and go down a bit on guild remove and in the remove one instead of adding things we're going to be actually checking so this is going to be a bit more code but it's going to be pretty simple we're going to copy this and yes we're just going to be copying a lot of the code from here because we already wrote a big portion of it remove the ctx and inside here what we're going to do if there is data await cursor dot execute of course and inside here delete from prefixes where and honestly we can just copy this entire thing and just paste it in here and boom that's it that's guild on and off and now last but not least we're actually gonna have to set the prefix so right now the prefix is set to d exclamation mark so none of this matters as long as the prefix itself is updated up here so i'll show you how to do that we're going to create a function up top here saying async def and it's just going to be get underscore prefix and no need for a underscore really and we can pass in client and message inside of here we're going to do the same exact thing as we did here let's copy this like so and then we're gonna once again do the same exact thing that we did over here which is if there is data but this time it's gonna be a tad bit different so if we do find data instead of doing something something to the data such as updating it ours is our task is gonna be really simple all we're gonna do is return data and that'll just return the prefix that we got but let's say there is no prefix. That's where it gets a bit more confusing. So it's post-production glow backed with saving you more time. After this else statement, what you want to do is put in return and then in quotations, put in the prefix that you want to default to. This will make it so even if the guild is not inside the DB, it will still work and it won't force an error like it would other times so all you have to do here is just add get prefix and that's it congrats because you just created your first set prefix command in AIO HTTP or AIO SQL like my bad I keep messing those up okay so here I am at my discord um, link down below in the description it's a really fun place and if you ever have help on this or get an error be sure to pop in here i can help you out the staff can help you out and it's pretty epic but what i'm going to do is run d help and here you could see there you go d help uh, and it works just like regular now if i were to do d set prefix something like that and nothing would happen because i didn't pass in anything it would just return it but let's say if i was to set it to i don't know drone space it will say prefix updated to drone now right d help will no longer work but now if i do drone help there you go it works and that's a super cool thing about it it will work on anything and like you won't have to update a json file or anything this is really quick this is efficient and yeah i really hope you enjoyed today's video it's been a blast to make and sorry if i was a bit quick with this one um I had to get it over with because yeah it was a long it's a big bit of code it was around like i think 30 lines 40 almost but yeah till next time close to go see ya